first grade. Um, today we're going to start a new study in math and you are going to need to uh, get out your math tool that looks like this. It's called an abacus. Um, the way that we use an abacus is we slide the beads. Uh, we move the beads from the left side over to the right side to show our numbers. So go ahead and if you want, if you need to pause the video to grab this, um, you're going to want to model the work that we're seeing in the video using your abacus. So pause the video and go grab that really quick. All right, now that you have your abacus, let's try a few uh, math story problems using our abacus and our part part total model. So this tool right here, this is your abacus. That's our new tool that we're going to be using. And then this, these boxes, you might uh, remember this from our past math lessons. That is called the part, part, total model. All right, let's take a look at this story. It says five cardinals and two blue jays. How many birds? So one line of the abacus is going to stand for the five cardinals. And the other line is going to stand for our two blue jays. So on the top line, let's make that the line where we show five cardinals. These beads are going to be the symbol for our cardinals. So we've got two, three, four, five. And you can also slide on your abacus. You can slide over those five beads as well, like this to show five cardinals. And the second part says two blue jays. So let's, on the bottom line, let's slide over two beads for the two blue jays. So on your abacus, that would look like this. So we're looking at this side. Now let's fill in our part, part, total model and our number sentence. So one part is going to stand for the cardinals. How many cardinals did we have? We had five. The other part is going to stand for the blue jays. How many blue jays did we have? We had two. How many birds did we have in all? We've got five, six, seven. So in the total bar, we would put our seven. What would a number sentence, what number sentence would go with this story? We could say five, add two, is the same as seven. Let's try a couple more. The next story says five roses and zero daisies. So the top line here is going to stand for the roses and the bottom line here is going to stand for the daisies. So for the top line, let's go ahead. I'm going to move over five beads for five roses. You can do the same on your abacus. Follow along. One, two, three, four, five. That shows us five daisies. Now, for the bottom line, that's going to represent the daisies. Do I need to move any beads over here for the daisies? No, I don't because it says zero daisies. Let's fill out the part, part total. The first box is going to be for roses. How many roses did we have? We had five. How many daisies did we have? We had zero. What is the total flowers, number of flowers that we have? We have five flowers. What number sentence could we use for this story? We could say five, add zero, is the same as what? Five is correct. 
Next story. I wonder what this one's going to be about. Ooh, this one sounds yummy. Three chocolate cakes and six lemon cakes. All right, remember, you can also use your abacus. Slide your beads over. Top row is going to be for chocolate cake. And the bottom row is going to be for lemon cake. So sliding over three on top for the chocolate cake. Do it with me. One, two, three. And then for the bottom row, how many do we need? We need six for six lemon cakes. We got one two, three, four, five, six. Notice that on the bottom row now, we moved over one of the white beads because on each row there are five black beads and, and five white beads. Uh, we moved over one of the white beads because we got past that, uh, that first half of our beads. And on your abacus, there are red and white. So on yours it would look like this. All right, let's do the part part total. How many chocolate? Three. How many lemon? Six. How many cakes do we have all together? Let's count them up. We've got six, seven, eight, nine. Nine cakes for the total. Hmm, what's a number sentence we could write for this one? We could say three add what? Shout out your answer. Three add six mm -hmm, is the same as what? Nine. Very good. This is how you use your new math tool, the abacus, and we also reviewed how to use uh, our tool of the part, part, total model. Now you are going to get to have a little practice with these tools.